to my channel i'm so pleased you keep on coming to this channel this is pk labi piano lessons pk labi easy piano lessons today we are looking at what a mighty god we serve what a mighty god we serve if you haven't subscribed to this channel please go under the video and press the subscribe button and also go under the same video and press the thumbs up so that YouTube will promote my videos. And don't forget to leave a comment as to how the lesson is going and where you are watching from. Today we are looking at what a mighty God we serve. And we are playing using key C. I have a lesson for the same song in key F. So those who are interested in key F, you can go under the video. Uh, you can go to my channel and look for my video and retrieve that video for key F. But today we are looking at key C for those who are interested in key C. So uh, let's come back to the keyboard as I take you through how to play What a Mighty God We Serve. Ciao. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are looking at What a Mighty God We Serve. We are playing using key C. Key C, <coughs> as I said in my earlier lessons, is the white key before the two black keys so wherever you see the two black keys this is the key C wherever you see the two black keys this is my key C key C key C so that's the white notes before the two notes there's the two black notes the white notes before the two black notes the white that's key C that is so easy to identify key C okay let's quickly run through the scale of key C uh, and try and uh, uh, deduce our chords. So, do re mi fa so la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do. It's the same as C, E, D, F, J, A, B, C. If you are using numbers, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you come here, one. So this is all the that's the only uh, keys that we are going to play. So with this lesson, all the notes are white notes. Uh, we are not going to use any of the black notes for now. So bear it in mind uh, when you are playing key C. Okay, uh, how many chords do we need? Um, we need four chords: um, do, re, fa, and so. Four chords. Okay, so let's identify our first chord, which is do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So this is the do. This is the do. So for the so the moment you identify your do like this, the moment you identify your do like this, you secure your bass. So this is how you are going to play the bass. Uh, you can either play with one. Or you can play with the two, the two do, yeah. So how is the so the note C is your do, note C is your do. How is the treble going to be? The treble is C, C E J, C E J is your do, and this is the bass. Okay. The next chord that you need is re, do re. Okay. The moment you identify your ray like this, you secure your two, the bass. If you are somebody you are not comfortable playing the two, you can play one. That's the white key between the two black keys. It's your ray. How is the treble going to be? The treble is going to be um, D, F, A. D, F, A. So, ray. The next chord that you need is fa, do, re, mi, fa. 
The moment you identify your father, that's the white note before the three black keys. The moment you identify your father, you secure your bass. As I said, as a beginner, if playing the two octave far is going to be a problem. So this is the note F is your far. You can either play one bass or you can decide to play the two bass. They are all in note F. So how do we play? How do we play uh, the uh, treble? For the purpose of this lesson, play the treble like this, which is C F A. It can also be F A C. F A C is far. But for the purpose of this lesson, let's play it C F A. It's the same far. It's just the position of the notes that has changed. This is far in second inversion. So uh, this is the treble. This is how you play the treble. And this is how you play the bass. And this is how you play the two together. Okay. The final chord that we need is so. Do, re, mi, fa, so. The moment you identify your soul like this, you also secure. You see the same. You secure your bass. The bass is your note G. Your note G is your bass. As I said, um, you either play as a beginner, the bass you play with one finger, or you decide to play the two. Okay. How is the treble going to be? The treble is going to be D, G, B. D, G, B is your... So... So this is the root key, which is the note G. And the two together. Okay. How is the song going to move? This is what a mighty God we say. Um, you can, sometimes we use it in the church. We, we use the praises tempo. And sometimes we use, the, we use it purely worship tempo. Um, I am more in tune to the worship tempo, so I will take you through the worship and a little bit of the, how the praise is going to be. That's the chopping, and then we bring the lesson to a close. So we are going to focus more on the worship. Then when we are coming to the end of the video, I will, I will demonstrate a little bit of uh, how the praise is going to be. Okay, so let's look at how the whole thing is going to be okay um the progression is going to be let me change it okay i've changed it uh, because it's a worship uh, look at how it's going to be uh, we are going to play do one then we play fa one then we come to do three beats one two three then we come to re then we come to so so you can play it like this or you can play it like this uh, so two then we come to do two beats then far two beats then re one beat then so one beat then you come back to do two beats it's as simple as that it's as simple as that so let's look at how this thing translates into a song. simple as that it's as simple as that let's go over once more what a mighty God we say. What a mighty God we say. angels bow before him So 
you see, when I was ending the song, I ended by playing Do in first inversion. When I started the lesson, I started with this Do was here. This Do was here. This Do was here. But when, I, I'm le when I'm ending the song, I move this Do to here. So it became... I started this Do, but when you are ending a song, you end with this Do. Let's go over for the last time. Then we'll try the chopping for the uh, praise. Okay, let's go over. I hope everything is clear. Okay, let's try the chopping for the praise, those who are interested in praises. Um, so let's look at... Um, with the same progression, this is how you are going to play the praise, the chopping. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and see you in the next lesson. Bye.